This video will guide you through the installation of Cardinal Scale Manufacturing's Armor Truck Scale with Smart Cell Digital Load Cells. The Armor's superior Weybridge and electronics design makes it exceptionally easy to install and calibrate. To begin the installation, please verify that the foundation is sound and meets all necessary local and state requirements. Please ensure the following items have been cast in the concrete foundation and have been properly located per the Cardinal Scale Certified Foundation drawings. Ground rods, transmission cable conduit, and coping angle assemblies. The tops of the concrete piers are to be smooth and level within a quarter inch of the same plane. Make certain the concrete piers are clear of debris and rough spots before setting modules in place. Before lifting the Weybridges into position, please follow all safety procedures and verify that the crane has sufficient capacity to safely lift each Weybridge. Never walk or reach beneath a suspended Weybridge. Failure to comply with proper safety procedures may result in injury or death. To begin, establish the center line of the concrete piers. Use a longitudinal chalk line for the center line and a lateral chalk line to establish the edge of the end piers. To aid in aligning the bridges, run a string down the side of the foundation. Once this is complete, place wood blocks on the piers as safety blocks for setting the modules on. Set the Weybridge module on the blocks so the module ends are on the end pier chalk lines and the edge of the module lines up with the longitudinal chalk line. Using the alignment bolts, position the first module so that one inch of clearance is given from the edge of the module to the coping angle assembly. Note that alignment bolts must be removed before the scale is calibrated and put into operation. Next, lower the second bridge module onto the wood blocks and align the second bridge receiver cups with the first bridge support blocks. Please make sure the intermediate way bridge fits over the support blocks of the first way bridge and the load cell stands are level on the pier. Once the intermediate way bridge is secure and level, place the last way bridge into position. To install the load cell stands anchor bolts, remove the cable tray and ensure the load cell stand is completely against the concrete pier. Drill four three quarter inch diameter holes for the anchor bolts. Holes should be 10 inches deep for the supplied anchor bolts. In order to allow the drill to clear the shipping bracket and drill the anchor bolt holes 10 inches deep, a 36 inch drill bit is required. To ensure the anchor bolts are the correct depth, remove the dust from the holes after drilling is complete. Use a vacuum with a long nozzle to vacuum the dust out of the holes. Insert the anchor bolts and then using a 1 1 8 socket and 3,000 to 4,000 inch pound rated impact wrench, tighten the bolts. If the deck you're installing is concrete, make sure the correct concrete, concrete mixture, and range of slump are within specifications listed within the Cardinal Blueprints and installation guides. Make certain that correct temperatures are followed within the installation guide. Support the midpoint of each deck until the concrete is cured. Shore way bridges continuously across the way bridge at the mid span point. The entire way bridge must be within a quarter inch of the same horizontal plane. After the concrete has been placed and vibrated, the deck will be struck with a screed. During the screeding operation, an adequate supply of concrete should be kept ahead of the screed with a slight excess maintained immediately ahead of the screed. Fogging equipment should be present to provide a fine mist to mitigate the effects of evaporation when mixing water. The concrete shall be finished to provide a uniform surface texture and then transversely textured to finish the deck before curing. Between temperatures of 35 degrees Fahrenheit and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, allow for a curing period for a minimum of at least seven days from the time of concrete placement. Cover the deck with wet cotton mats or two layers of wet burlap bags. The mats or bags must be kept wet during the curing period. No load should be placed on the decks for a minimum of 28 days. Any deviation from these specifications is at the contractor's own risk. With Cardinal Scale Smart Cell Digital Load Cells, all digital scales are wired with a daisy-chained CAN cable. The load cell connection loop can begin at any convenient load cell and may continue clockwise or counterclockwise, whichever is preferred. 
To begin, run the load cell cable through conduit installed in the bridges between load cells. Install the load cell cable connectors on the load cell fittings and hand tighten the connectors. When reaching the last load cell, install the end node terminator to complete the loop. After installing the load cell cables, connect the flat braid ground wire from the ground stud in the second way bridge to the ground rod in the foundation. Ensure there's continuity between the scale components and the ground rod afterward. When installing the home run cable, connect the cable between the first load cell in the loop and the indicator. Consult the installation guide to determine home run cable length. It is important to note that the maximum length is determined by the number of load cells in the scale. The home run cable 5-pin connectors are installed at the site after determining the cable length. Please take care that the wires to pins 1 through 4 do not contact the center pin, number 5, as that can cause sporadic connectivity issues. Before calibration, it is very important that the dead load of the waybridge is evenly distributed between the pair of cells in a section. Proceed to the Diagnostics menu on your indicator to the Load Cell Weights screen. Each pair of load cells must be carrying an equal dead load of plus or minus 10%. If the cell readings are out of tolerance, loosen the load cell mounting bolt as well as the load cell pivot plate retaining bolt and place a factory supplied shim between the load cell pivot plate and the load cell. The last step is installing the access plates. Before installation, replace the cable tray that was removed earlier. Roll up any excess load cell cable and place on the cable tray. Make certain the cables are clear of the access plate opening. Place one side of the access plate in the opening and lower the other side to close the opening. Like all truck scales, Cardinal's Armor Series requires routine maintenance and calibration to continue working at maximum efficiency and performance. For more information regarding Cardinal's Armor Series truck scale with digital load cells, please call 1-800-441-4237 or visit our website at cardinalscale.com. Cardinal Scale has been building a better way since 1950.